Hi, I'm Ken Getz, and this is Robert Green. We're both senior consultants with MCW Technologies, a Microsoft consulting partner. When we're not writing or presenting coursework or building applications for our clients, we write books and technical articles and speak at many industry conferences. Our goal in this course is to provide you with the tools you need to start building applications with .NET. We'll assume that you've programmed in some other development environment, and we'll look at as many language features as we can. So by the time you're done with this course, you can start building Windows and web applications using the .NET framework. Starting with the ever-popular Hello World application, we'll move on through language fundamentals and then on to investigating the .NET framework. You'll learn how to add flow control to your applications, and you'll work with objects and object-oriented techniques. The .NET Framework provides a large number of classes, and we'll be investigating a number of them. We'll focus on data structures, and we'll also look at generics. And it gives you the ability to write code that's more flexible. You'll also see how to handle exceptions in your code, as well as use delegates and events. By the time you're done, you'll be ready to jump in and start building your own Windows or web applications. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. The big day has finally come. You've found that you need to build a .NET project, but you're used to working in some other environment. In this first section, we'll stop and look at what .NET is and why the heck you're even here learning about it. There's a long history behind the .NET framework and how it fits in with Windows, and it's important to understand these things before you jump in and start building your own applications.